How's it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit and today we're in real life with Miles aka Flips for Miles. We're going to be breaking down the story of how he was able to sell a red, just shy of about $500,000 in one yeah, month, right? 480, 480 yeah, 480 in December. Yeah, so you know for the people who you know aren't familiar with you, what is your business model? How are you able to do close to 500000 bucks in one month? Yeah, so I do online arbitrage strictly so that's buying products from big retail websites and flipping them on Amazon and then because I watched so many Fields of Profit YouTube videos, I was able to you just shy of 500,000 in sales for this summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're going to be getting, you know, into the nitty gritty on those specific keys on how he was able to scale his business too close to just shy of, you know, 500K. I did like around 400K as well. So when you guys hear that, you know, arbitrage isn't scalable, like you can't make money from Walmart and Target, like it is possible. Something we've been talking about here in Miami is that, you know, you have those limiting beliefs. Like early on, I thought, you know, maybe you can do 100,000 bucks a month. Now that we've kind of four and five X that, it's yeah. very, you know, kind of clear that you can definitely break through that. So what would you say during that big monster month? What move the needle for you to, to get Yeah, that. so a couple things. So definitely the holiday demand increase in terms of Q4 it being the holiday season and everything like that. Customers are spending more. So naturally products sell quicker and they sell for more. So it's overall a lot more profitable to do this as well as well. Black Friday is probably the best buying opportunity. We're talking about that in the car mm -hmm. of the entire year. So it's like you can buy products that you normally buy profitably all throughout the year for less and they're selling for more and they're selling quicker because it's the holidays as well as definitely merchant fulfilling and being able to sell those items a lot quicker was a big thing as well. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, so, you know, getting into doing that little bit of that merch fulfillment versus FBA. If you're not familiar with that, you know, merch fulfillment, we're shipping it direct to customers, so you get to that speed, right? FBA, Amazon does it all for you, but it takes a while. So for that Black Friday inventory, you know, you're buying that, you're able to rip it out kind of immediately. So what for you makes that decision-making process where this is something I'm gonna merch fulfill, this is something I'm gonna FBA? Yeah, so there's kind of the tangible in that there's certain products that you can't FBM. Yeah. Just by looking at the buy box statistics, considering looking at the competitive seller, seeing if there's other FBM people that you think are getting sales, looking if FBM sellers are getting the buy box, the keep all offers tab as well. And then there's the kind of intangible of like, okay, how easy it is it actually to ship this item? Is it something that's gonna be a pain? that maybe it is pretty expensive yeah, to do that yeah. individual shipping, or is it a product where I can sell 500 of them in the month and potentially really easily ship 100 of them in an hour if I had to. So there's the tangible in that, okay, can I actually sell this FBM? Like the intangible is like, okay, is it realistic to be able to fulfill this at scale? Because that's the beauty of Amazon FBA is that you're sending those products in bulk to Amazon's warehouses as opposed to individually fulfilling them like you would normally on eBay. Exactly, yeah. So for that guy or girl that we're hearing like 500K, 400K, like I'm trying to make my first thousand bucks in sales. Like that's probably why you're watching this video, right? And so for that person, you know, as these sale opportunities continue to roll around, like it's not just a Black Friday thing. What would you say for that person? Is there any videos they should watch, any tools they should go check out to find that first product? Yeah, in terms of finding the first product, well, you guys are on definitely on the right channel. You can check out my <laughs> stuff as, as well and everything, but you just ultimately want to find one initial item and then using reverse sourcing with Selleramp, you can see the entire cash catalog of other people who are selling those products, right? So let's say you go into Walmart right now, scan all the products using the seller app, app the clearance section, you're probably going to find something that makes sense. However, though, say you find something that does make sense, you can also then go on the computer or even just on your seller app, app on the phone, look at the other products those people are selling. So like legit, like a lot of what I've done throughout, especially the first million in sales, a lot of it was reverse sourcing. And then eventually you meet more people, you get better at finding deals, you can do manual on a different website as well. But definitely finding the first product, I would say reverse sourcing, whether online or like manual sourcing, or I guess retail arbitrage, like in the clearance section. They're both very good options, but the biggest thing is to just get the ball rolling, get that experience quick, because that's going to allow you to put one foot in front of the other for a while, and then eventually you're going to get pretty good results if you stick with it. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah, and we have complete breakdowns on both of our channels on how to do that process completely free, so you guys can go check that out and then, you know, actually start finding those products, right? One thing that I think is tricky for new sellers, especially with with reverse sourcing. There's people watching this are like, you know, I've tried reverse sourcing. I've tried manual. You know, what might stick out to you about that store that's worth reverse sourcing? Sure. Yeah. So it depends on what type of item they're selling. And then definitely their review count yeah. is the review yeah. counts the big thing. Because if someone has even like 50 plus reviews, you know they're making money because if they're selling that volume of items to get reviews, reviews are hard to come by yeah. on Amazon. They have to be making money, right? So if you know someone's making profit and you can see exactly what items they're selling and how long they've been selling it, a good indication of how many they've sold, how many they have in stock, it becomes pretty easy to identify good quick selling products and then it's on you to be able to locate those profitable products across the internet or in your local retail stores at profitable prices. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know, talking about Black Friday a little bit, going out reverse sourcing, what are some ways that you were able to boost your margins on that 500K in sales? Sure, yeah, so that's the best part with Black Friday is there's tons of discounts, but even just going beyond it, there's tons of discounts you guys can take advantage of all the time. Like we did a presentation yesterday on online arbitrage at our friend's conference. We were talking about finding deals using the website. I believe it's called Sales Gazer. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah, there. Drop, yeah. A, drop a comment down below if you were there, by the way. Let sure. me know. Yeah, it was <laughs> amazing. Saw, got, it was awesome getting to oh see, see it. got lots yeah. of you guys. That was, that was super fun. Seriously, yeah. Manufacturing margins and finding discount codes and just discounts in general is like, I'd say the biggest competitive advantage yeah, with yeah. Ari or with OA. So definitely you want to be using Rakuten and you want to have the Capital One Shopping Chrome extension as well as you want to join the newsletter, the email list of all the websites you like to buy from. So you actually get notified and they literally let you know when there's deals happening. That's yep. going to make it a lot easier yep. to find profitable inventory. Yeah. Instead of going out and trying to find it, they're going to send you an email. Hey, come make money on our website today. It doesn't get easier than that, right? Yeah. 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 So, you know, we're kind of breaking it down a little bit, maybe wrapping up the video for that guy or girl. They're trying to make their first sale they're, They've got a thousand bucks in sales. What should they go do this hour to kind of take action? Yeah, yeah. So it, it depends really when you're watching, but like it's just getting reps and I would yeah. say, you know what I mean? Like the, the commonality between everyone we know that's successful is they've done a ton of work yeah. basically with it. So you got Keepa, you got Selleramp, you're in the right place watching these videos. Just get the reps in on your own and start talking to other people that are doing it as well. Mm -hmm. I assume link down below will have the free Discord link. Start talking yeah. to some other sellers because there's a very good chance if you're doing this on your own, you probably don't know anyone else in real life or just that you can go talk to and bounce ideas off of that has any idea about the stuff or even that just believes in it in general. So I really, really believe in talking to other sellers, networking, doing what you can to build some great relationships because everything I've gotten that's been successful in my life has come as a result of other people trusting me, other people believing in me and me believing and trusting in other people. Yeah, that's awesome. And one thing I'll, I'll leave you guys with as well is you are gonna suck for your first month, maybe your first two months, right? You gotta embrace it. Like if this business, you could go in and immediately everything clicks in a week, I would be a very good business, right? So embrace the suck, like hop in, get those reps in like Miles is talking about, and it really will click. You know, I see it all in the comments all the time. I spent two hours sourcing. I didn't find anything. I spent 30 Try minutes sourcing. Months. I didn't find anything. Yeah. You got to spend five hours, 10 hours. Like that initial learning curve is steep. Like we're not going to be here and they're not going to be the guys that sit here and tell you it's easy, but it's definitely, definitely worth it. So if you guys did get value out of today's video, be sure to go check out Miles' channel. You can also hit that subscribe button down below. If we added some value to your business, add some some value back to mine. If you guys have any comments, feel free to drop questions, anything like that down below as well. Always happy to answer those, but I really appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.